Today we are going to cook pilaf, which some of you commented is not the right one. But many people have written and asked for a simple version of pilaf to prepare for the whole family. The recipe is here, and I recommend it with cucumbers. It's very tasty. There were a lot of questions about my pilaf, as people often comment that I cook it incorrectly. But for me, the most important thing is that my children eat this pilaf. For me, the most important thing is that Anna loves this pilaf. Accordingly, I prepare it, I cook, I love, the children eat, and that is what matters most. To prepare this pilaf, you will need... I take about 600-700 grams of meat. It can be chicken, pork or veal, whatever you consider necessary. I have veal, but often it is chicken. One and a half cups of rice. We will definitely rinse the rice. You see, it hasn't been rinsed. I want to show you. The water is so murky. It needs to be rinsed about 10 times. For every half a cup of rice, I add a medium-sized onion. This way, the rice doesn't turn out dry. Well, I have a little bit of carrot here. And the meat should be given a try to the home newcomers. The meat can be omitted. About one and a half carrots and a small clove of garlic. Next you will need spices, but that will depend on your taste. Let's get started. About two tablespoons of oil. This is the oil in which I will savor the meat. We turn on our pot so that it heats up right to the buckwheat. And we will be cutting our meat. I always cut the meat into small pieces, especially if it's veal, so that the children can chew it properly. Thank you. Look, I want to show you how I usually cut them into straight pieces. The pot needs to be really, really, really hot before you add anything. Do you see, like, well, really small pieces? We put the meat in our pot. You see, it's heated up. Right. The meat will fry and I slice the onion into half rings. Try to cut it as thinly as possible. I don't cut it into cubes or anything like that. Honestly, my children don't even notice. We just slice it as thinly as possible. That's it, in half moons. I usually chop the carrot. You see, I cut it here and like this. And in such not very small pieces, but also not too large. Here, sometimes it's in rectangles, sometimes grated, you know, there is an attachment that needs to be in half rings, and I cut half of it there in different ways, in short, but I don't cut, I don't grate, although sometimes I do grate. You see, many times the water has become clear, and it remains in the water. Here I have a carrot, an onion, and a whole garlic. Now, as soon as the meat starts to brown, we add the vegetables and then the red pepper. As for the spices, I buy them whole. You see, it's a mixture for pilaf, which includes cumin, turmeric, and a bit of red pepper. In general, this is just a spice. And I always add barberry, dried barberry. I don't know, about two tablespoons for this salt. And it's essential to add salt. But I've been salting for 50 years. Even in pilaf, I've started to reduce it. When it tastes good, I don't add salt. We add the onion and mix it with this window. You see, I don't read while it's cooking. I just keep an eye on it. I really only take about two minutes and then I add the rice. Some people like Varvkovich don't mix the meat, but for me, it doesn't work that way. My meat ends up being clumpy. Something is not right. Now I've added everything. I'm covering it with a lid. The onion should sweat a bit, and it should settle in the pot. I don't know. Well, maybe two minutes, or maybe five. Now let me tell you with the chopping, we will show you how it should look. I cover it with a lid. The minimum should be signed by it. The onion has reduced in size. Show it closer, just like that. Uh, you see, the carrot uh, has become softened already. Next. I can add the spices directly onto the meat, and I will also add the garlic. And I mix it really well, and now it needs to be salted. For this whole volume, I usually add about two teaspoons like this. But look, I have salt that is less salty, 
Look at your own volumes and your own taste. Use this as a guide. I'm just showing you how much salt I usually add. Well, I mix it well with the spice. Then I will dilute it. And we will add the rice. Well, then we add the rice. Oh, wait, that was garlic. I place the garlic between the rice and the meat. Look, the rice has all been flipped over. Now we spread it evenly across the surface. Next we will pour water over it. I pour water to cover the rice by about a finger's width. I decided to measure how much water I am adding. To measure, I decided. To measure. It turns out this is about half a liter of water, 500 mil. You see, I brought it to a boil, so clearly I need it to boil. And after it boils, I will turn the heat to the minimum and leave it. If I were planning to go somewhere right now to walk, or if guests were coming over, I would set the oven and turn off the timer as my timer turns off the oven for about 20 minutes. When it reaches 20, it should be fully cooked in the oven 100%. Now I will just watch the cooking time. Once it starts boiling, I immediately cover it with a lid on the lowest heat and we just wait. It starts to boil on maximum heat. Now I will cover it with a lid and set it to the lowest heat. The lowest heat for me is actually on a different burner. So I will move it. But you need to make sure that it continues to simmer a little bit. Be sure to pay attention to this as well. This is when we filmed the previous video. 18 minutes have passed. Overall, everything is almost ready. There is still a little moisture left at the bottom. But the fragrant mobile, next, I usually stir. I just stir and turn on the gas, and I leave it for about 10 minutes. This way, I stirred it. I turn off the gas and leave it for another 10 minutes. There are high spots, for example. The top here may not be fully cooked. So it will finish cooking just right. How to cook pilaf. According to your recipe, how to cook pilaf correctly, you can write to me. My husband makes a wonderful simple pilaf in a cauldron. Maybe there is even a recipe on the channel. The right one. With lamb fat. Just as it should be. But what matters most to me is that it's quick, simple and without any hassle. So that the whole family can eat it. And that's the perfect option. Our pilaf is incorrect but very tasty. It's ready. You can eat it, you can serve it at the table. It really turns out very delicious and simple.